Good Monday, everyone. Looking at our weather map for today, we see a few showers across the southeast, especially across Florida. That's about it. The rest of the country is looking really quiet. Almost the entire eastern United States, almost the entire central, well, literally the entire central U.S. The big weather story, though, is what's happening over on the west coast, especially across the state of California. Big storm system barrel on shore. Some folks are seeing wind gusts they've never seen before. Hurricane force, heavy rainfall, very heavy mountain snows. I saw one mountain location that was forecast to receive seven feet of snow. I've seen other reports that some of the mountains could get over 12 feet of snow by the time this is all said and done. And I, that would not surprise me. Um, lots of precipitation, lots of wind. This is a big, big deal for the West Coast. And uh, that is the big weather story of the day. Looking at our five-day forecast brought to you by Clearview Closet and Blind. Not a lot to talk about. Mostly sunny today. Mostly sunny tomorrow. Partly to mostly sunny on Wednesday. A few more clouds on Thursday. And then our next storm system arrives on Friday with a good chance of rain showers. Pretty quiet for this time of the year. Look at those temperatures. Upper 50s today. A cool front comes through and drops us all the way down to the low 50s for tomorrow. <laughs> Upper 50s for, t for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Overnight lows. Chilly, but not bad for this time of the year. A little bit of a north breeze. And then by the end of the week, we get into the southerly breezes blowing in that next storm system. But at least they're southerly winds. So um, very uh, a much warmer feel to those winds than, than the uh, their counterparts from the north. So, uh, not too shabby at all. On this day, though, in 2008, one of the worst tornado outbreaks in Middle Tennessee hits the, hits the mid-state during the early evening and early morning hours of the 6th. 14 tornadoes touched down, including an EF3 that kills 22 people in Sumner, Trousdale, and Macon counties. That's just northeast of Nashville. It's the deadliest single tornado in Middle Tennessee in nearly 75 years. This is the sixth largest tornado outbreak in Middle Tennessee state history. I was working for TEMA at this time, the Tennessee Emergency Management Agency over in Nashville. And uh, I had worked the evening before, but I was off this day. And so I called my buddy Ross in uh, Bowling Green. He's my storm chasing buddy. And I said, let's go out to West Tennessee tomorrow. So we headed out west. And late in that evening, we caught our first tornado in Jackson, Tennessee, an EF4. A huge, huge tornado. Sounded like a massive waterfall. Um, we were sitting right on I-40. It passed just to our north, just before it struck Union University. Um, it is an evening I will never forget, and I have stories for days. Speaking of Twister, we have the movie Twister coming back to the Palace Theater in downtown Crossville on the big screen. This is nothing like sitting on your screen at home. February the 17th. Tickets only 5 bucks. We'll have a drink and popcorn special, too. Five bucks to get in, seven o'clock PM is when it starts. Money raised goes to my space camp this summer. You folks have a wonderful Monday. Keep looking up for more weather, meteorologistmark.com.